everyone so today I'm gonna be doing my favorites video for you guys as you know every single month I always say I probably have a lot of duplicate items um, in this video it's probably gonna be that same way again um, the look that I have on today is actually a video that's gonna be recorded for you guys for Saturday and it's gonna be a get ready with me I haven't done one of those in forever guys so I was really excited that I actually got the opportunity to do one because I really do miss doing my get ready videos um, it was one of my better videos I think because I really enjoyed doing them a while back before um, motherhood took full effect and I have to chase around a three-year-old two-year-old right now but going on three so it's it's kind of hard to actually film and get ready with me video but she was quiet this morning and she actually gave me some time to do that for you guys and she's given me some time now to kind of do a favorites video for you guys so I'm just going to kind of rush right in and show you guys the things that I have. Keep in mind that most of these items will be featured in that get ready video and that video is not going to be a talk through. It's actually going to be in a fast mode kind of thing. But if you have any questions, every single product that I used in that video pretty much is going to be in this video. So if you have any questions or anything like that or if you want to know how the product works, then definitely come back to this video and use this to refer to um, for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started about so my favorite all, brush this month and it is by Sigma you guys know I love Sigma brushes but this brush is the F86 and I love this for basically my under eye concealer it just really blends it like nobody's dream and it, it's just perfect I absolutely love it it blends it out really fast and it doesn't take a lot of time so this is definitely one of my favorite brushes and at first when I got this brush I was like this is one that I'm never gonna use but now that I've been using it for the under eye concealer it just I love it it just blends it out my perfectly. favorite foundation um, for this month and I'm actually going to be doing a foundation um, top five foundation video for you guys as well because I have a lot of foundations and I've tried out um, a bunch of them last year and some this year so I definitely want to do one of those videos for you guys but the one I've been loving for this month has been the MAC face and body and I really like this one because it's water based and it's just really light it's almost um, it's even lighter I think in comparison to my Revlon Nearly Naked so I definitely love this I've said before in other videos that the Revlon Nearly Naked and this are basically the same thing um, you could just save a couple of bucks by getting the Re Revlon Nearly Naked but this one is still just a little bit lighter than that one um, but they basically pretty much do the same thing this one doesn't have any SPF in it as the Nearly Naked does but I absolutely love this and I'm in the color C6 so of course my favorite highlighters this month have been by MAC and you guys know I love MAC cosmetics so so much but um the thing that I'm really loving about these highlighters they are the prep and prime and I have one in light boost and bright forecast and I have both of them on today and these just give you a nice settle but it's almost like a dewy kind of look I do not have on any type of um, highlighting powder this morning which is a definitely wow for me because normally you guys know I have my favorite powder on for highlighting um, I would have had my um, support by MAC I actually didn't use that but I still feel that I have just enough of a highlight it's more of a natural highlight than a shimmery one and I absolutely love them um, one is more peach and the other one is more yellow I'm um, definitely give these a look over I, that do believe these are permanent and max collection so definitely give these a look over um, if you're at a Mac counter or near a Mac Let's talk about my favorite blush which is the ambient um, the hourglass ambient blushes this one is in mood exposure I think I talked about this one last month as well but I absolutely love it the color is just so beautiful I'm definitely going to be picking up more of these when I go on vacation because I love these blushes I just think that they're really nice and they just give your skin the most beautiful glow that I've ever seen um, so I'm really in love with these they're not too powdery or anything if you use the right brush and you guys know um, in the last video I believe I told you to use the real techniques brush with it but it just gives the perfect application this is the blush brush by real techniques and it gives a perfect application guys so for this month have been I've been going back to the Revlon lip butters and I have a huge collection of those I was thinking that I would probably use them more than the winter but it didn't work out like that but I've been loving them for summer because they have a lot of really pink 
We have pinks and purples and berry colors, and I just think that those are the perfect colors for summer so and spring, so I'm definitely loving those. The one that I have on today is Fig Jam, and it looks almost like a reddish kind of brown on my lips. So really have been loving these and looking forward to wearing a lot of the different shades that I have. Regular brow gel. Now if you're looking at my brows today, these are my natural brows. They are not filled in. I didn't do anything to them but apply a brow gel. And the one that I have been using is by e.l.f. Now when you go to e.l.f., you can get e.l.f. the brow gel stuff at Target. At least I can at my Target. And they, it's usually a dollar, but what I do is I found a brush that I liked like 20 times better to apply my brow gel so basically I just cleaned that brush and I stuck it in this one and you can kind of undo the tops and and so forth but that's what I done with this and I really love this wand better for applying it and I just went ahead and just set it up like that but anyway that's what I've been using on my brows here lately as opposed to using the dip brow pomade because sometimes you just don't have time to fill in your brows and I pretty much almost got them back the way I want my natural brows to look anyway so I'm kind of happy with it right now so I just want to make sure I keep it going down that same track so I've just been using a gel on those and that's been working pretty I'm well loving and I've mentioned this a lot too is this true blend fix stick and I am in the color 1D through 4 and I've been using this as a highlighter and you guys know I got this when I last went on vacation but I love using this as a highlighter because it's almost that peachy kind of color there but it, it does wonders I love to use it down the bridge of my nose I don't apply it underneath my eyes but I do apply it to the cupid's bow and right here on my chin but I absolutely love this and this is really good so I would definitely recommend um, picking this up if you're looking for a highlighter just get a shade that's usually um, one to two shades lighter than your skin and you guys another should product that I've been loving and I normally don't use this a whole lot my husband loves it but I've been using Vaseline and I've actually been using this instead of like my Nivea lip butters because I just think that this gives such a more smoother um, finish to the lips really so I've been using this just applying a little bit of it on my lips and I found out that my lips have been a lot softer lately and I've also been applying it on my daughter's lips and her lips have been a lot softer because her lips tend to peel a lot so I've really been loving this one the one I have is in cocoa butter and I have been applying that in the morning right before I you know after you brush your teeth and everything and right before you put on your makeup I've been using that to kind of prep my lips to get ready for a lipstick if it's going to be really drying or just whatever I'm wearing, whatever lip product I'm wearing. Products. Products. The next thing that I have is the Bahama Mama. And you guys know I love this as my bronzer. I had problems with it back in the past, especially when it turned like summery months because for some reason it was giving me these real bad like cystic acne, the ones that are like underneath your skin. But if you guys can look, you actually see my skin has really cleared up in those places that I used to have that acne and I figured out a way to get rid of it um basically it was due to my clear sonic i need to change like the brush head on that and so once i done that and just really started paying more attention to my skincare this, it wasn't actually the product it was my Clarisonic that was causing the breakouts but anyway long story short I went back to using this in conjunction with the Lorac Tan Tantalizer bronzer and I like using this because this one kind of leaves a little grayish tint to it as this one is more of a red tint I'm going to show you guys really quickly so this one is more of a red and this one in this pan is more of a gray if I can get it to fall back so as you can see that you can see the difference in the colors. I like using both of these together, especially when I want to do a really sculpted um, contour. I just really love the way that this these two look together. So I've definitely been loving my balm for the Last month. but not least for eyeshadow palettes, I have went back to the Naked 3. You guys know I said I love this palette and I really do. I think the colors in here are phenomenal. Perfect for summer and spring and it's just really nice pinks and neutral colors and I love it. I've absolutely been using it and I'm going to continue to use it. I'm probably going to take this on vacation with me. Unless you're watching the video, please subscribe if you're new and if you thumbs up the video to see more videos like this. And that's it guys. I will see you in the next video and don't forget all my social media links are linked down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.